Nigeria health officials have revealed that a total of 3.4 million doses of Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine have so far been utilized for the first and second rounds to fight the virus that has killed over 3 million people worldwide. The Executive Director, National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shoaib, disclosed these statistics while speaking at the national briefing of the COVID-19 Presidential Steering Committee in Abuja. Mr. Shoaib said the figure represents approximately 88% of the total COVID-19 vaccine stock in the country. He said a total of 4,024,000 doses of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine were received by the Federal Government of Nigeria in March 2021. He revealed that 3.924 million came through the COVAX facility and another 100,000 doses from the Government of India. While speaking about how far the country has gone in its vaccination exercise, Mr. Faisal Shaib said 2 million. 265,805 people have been immunized with the first dose, while 1,175,341 people have gotten that second dose. Based on this data and comparative information from other countries, Nigeria continues to have the highest vaccination rate in Africa, with approximately 84,000 people being vaccinated on a daily basis. In another development, the Nigerian government says it is extending the ban imposed on flight from Brazil, Turkey and India for another four weeks. The measure, the government said, was to prevent the importation of violent strains of the virus into the country. We announced additional measures to be met by passengers arriving from Brazil, Turkey and India. This action was due to the prevalence of variants of concern and the dangers associated with importation of such virulent strain. In addition to these three countries, the PSC has also shifted its focus on some African countries, South Africa inclusive, Zambia, Rwanda, Namibia, and Uganda fall in this category. Last month, people who had been to those three countries within 14 days of their intended arrival date in Nigeria were barred from entering the country. The government said it was monitoring the situation in South Africa, Zambia, Rwanda, Namibia and Uganda as their COVID-19 cases rise. Kamil Sadiq reporting for CBA TV, Nigeria.